I don't think Texans fans realize exactly what's about to happen. I don't think the reality of the future of the Texans has really hit them. This team is about to be really, really, possibly historically bad. We've gone from possibly going into the AFC Championship game, being able to host it, with J.J. Watt, DeAndre Hopkins, Deshaun Watson. All of them are gone except for one, and he wants out, and he's reiterated over and over and over again how badly he wants out. And now you have the head coach out there saying, I've never, I haven't heard anything about this. We're committed to him, and he's our quarterback. Of course Deshaun's committed to us. You want to know why? Because he's a Houston Texan. This city needs to realize how bad it's going to get. Cleveland Browns at their worst levels. Detroit Lions going 0-16. and 16. You're going to say to yourselves, well, yeah, we're rebuilding. It's a rebuilding phase. We're going to be rebuilding for three years, four years, and, you know, then we'll find a quarterback because that's easy to do. This is a poverty franchise now. Do I like some of the moves that Nick Casario is making? Yes. But the problem is I can't just look at those in a vacuum. And I can't look at Nick Casario and single him out and say, yes, I like these moves that Nick Casario is making. This is awesome because I still have Cal McNair and Jack Easterby over here. So I have somebody in chat right now asking, damage control, who's the head of PR? They fired her because she wasn't a cultural fit. Nobody can convince me that as long as Jack Easterby is here in Houston, that this team is going to be anything other than dysfunctional. His coup was successful. He has full control of the team and there's nothing they can do about it. I legitimately think that that Texans fans need to buckle up for a decade of disappointment.